Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today we are decluttering, we are organizing, we're cleaning, we're doing a total reset in preparation for spring. I don't know about you guys, but this winter has been so tough and I'm so ready and excited for warmth and sunshine. I know that not everyone who watches my videos lives in the Western Hemisphere. However, a reset of any kind is just a great thing to do and whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed and stressed, something that helps me immensely is to have a clean environment in which I work. So that means living in a decluttered and clean space as well as having organized devices such as my laptop and my computer and all of that has it's not gotten too bad, but definitely needs to be reset. And so I've gone ahead and made this to-do list of all the things that I hope to do today. But the big points are just cleaning each room of the house and decluttering my wardrobe as well as organizing my bookshelves and bookcases because they're just kind of overflowing right now and I need a new organization system for them. And then also I'd love to go through and organize my laptop once more and my phone and back up everything because it's been about four months since I've done that, so it's time. And I hope to finish this all tonight in time for a virtual dinner party that Landon has planned with our friends Pat and Sinedra. I've never done anything like this before, but we will be making dinner together and then enjoying it together all while FaceTiming. And even though they won't actually physically be here with us, it'll be nice to have a clean space in which to host this dinner party. <laughs> And so my friends, go ahead and make yourselves a hot cup of tea or coffee, grab your favorite cozy blanket, maybe a notepad if you feel inspired to uh, jot down some ideas of ways you'd like to declutter, and let's get to it. Cheers, friends. This is actually water. <laughs> I never know if it's okay to drink water out of tea mugs, especially when I'm holding it as if it's a warm, cozy drink, but I've already had tea this morning and uh, need to hydrate, so water it is. Hmm, oh, so good. Let's get to it, friends. <laughs> Who are curious to clean I'm using this Trader Joe's multi-purpose cedarwood and sage cleaner it's largely plant-based I'm also using this BioClean all-purpose cleaner and again it has mostly plant ingredients and is very eco-friendly but I have these t-shirt rags that I'm reusing to wipe down all the surfaces and I'll wash them once I'm finished also 
I've opened the windows. Whenever I'm spring cleaning or just doing a deep clean and the weather is good, I always open the windows. It just feels so good to have clean, fresh air coming into the house while I'm cleaning everything. So I highly recommend opening your windows if at all possible while you're cleaning.
Okay, so I've sorted through all of my clothes and these pieces are what I'm giving away. <sighs> it always feels so good to go through your clothes and give some away. I'm not sure if I exactly qualify as a minimalist, but what you see in this half of the closet, that's all that I have as well as my exercise clothes which I dumped out onto the bed and then pajamas but here's the catcher this compartment up here that's where all my spring summer warm weather clothes are so I guess I have two capsule wardrobes one for the cold half of the year and then one for the warm half of the year also, I would say 97% of my clothes are secondhand. They're either secondhand or they're gifted to me or I bought them with a gift card, like this sweater that I just got from TJ Maxx. Yeah, I've been shopping secondhand for a very long time now and basically my whole wardrobe is secondhand and it's very much because I feel passionately about sustainable, long-lasting fashion over fast fashion but also a little bit because I've been broke for the majority of my adult life. And um, I think that minimalism and then shopping secondhand are wonderful things to adapt when you are low on money, but also when you're just trying to be a more conscious consumer. And that being said, rather than throwing away these clothes or donating them immediately to Goodwill, I'm gonna go ahead and give them to my friend Talita my cousin Casey who live in Portland I'm gonna bring them by and see if they want any of the sweaters or pants or anything anything if they like any of it and whatever they don't take I'll go ahead and give to a secondhand shop so that feels great now it's time to tackle this corner this messy messy bookcase that I've been hiding from you guys for a very long time now because <laughs> it's it's just, it's ridiculous. So, let's get it organized. <laughs>
All right, so let me try and explain my organization. So this white stack is all nonfiction, so memoirs and biographies and best life books, things of that sort. Then we have adult fiction, followed by more adult fiction. Whoop, <laughs> I'm falling over. Followed by half adult fiction into children's literature slash fiction and more children's literature. On this little guy, I have some Spanish books, more fiction, um, some classics, and then workbooks and best life books. I am so happy with how everything turned out. It feels so good to have everything organized. I hadn't realized how much my messy bookshelf was bothering me until now I see it organized and it makes me unbelievably happy. That feels really good. These are the books that I am giving away. So I'm gonna um, offer them to my friends and then whatever my friends don't want, I'm gonna go ahead and distribute among local tiny book, tiny libraries. That's what they're called. You know, when people put those um, little tiny book boxes in neighborhoods, I love distributing books into them. I often take books from them. So yeah, these are the ones that I'm saying farewell to. Thank you books. I have so enjoyed you. Hmm. So now that that's finished, I'm gonna take a break and then get back to cleaning and I'm very much looking forward to dinner tonight. So I'll see you there. Hey Lynn. How's it going? Good, I'm excited for our dinner party. Oh, me too. Cookie balls? Cookie balls. Cookie balls. Cookie balls. Yay. <laughs> our grocery investigator. FaceTime. I did feel a little bit lonely after we finished because even though it was so great to see and talk to them, it's just not the same as in person. I know we're all aware, but um, it's like it's kind of bittersweet because it almost satisfies the longing, but uh, it's like better than nothing, but still just isn't the same. So dinner's finished and I've just sat down with a hot cup of peppermint tea and I have my laptop in front of me and my plan is to go ahead and organize it, sort it. I have quite a messy desktop at the moment and I'm gonna transfer everything to my external hard drive and then I'm also just gonna sort through my phone and delete repeat pictures from the past couple of months and get it all finished. I am really, really happy with what I've done today. I'm gonna go ahead and film a little bit of my digital organization and then I'll check back in with you guys just to say goodnight.
sorted through my computer and offloaded everything to my external hard drive and then I've gone through and deleted pictures from February and January, which took a lot longer than I thought it would, but isn't that always the case? So today has been a very good day. It's felt so nice to just refresh and reset, but all things declutter and organization aside, I just wanted to say thank you so much everyone for the amazing responses I got to last week's video. Last week I opened up about how I've been feeling very low and um, just kind of like a failure because my numbers haven't been very well, doing very well and I realized that I was relying on numbers to validate my own feelings of success, my own feelings of self-worth and it had become really toxic and you guys were just so i don't know felt like friends you guys are such good friends and had so many pieces of advice to share and stories to tell and i just felt so seen and understood in the very best way and thank you all for every single one of your comments i read through them all and it made me so happy like waking up each morning and reading new comments you guys were so encouraging and supportive and then also helped me to feel so much less alone by sharing your own experiences and it's really really inspiring to see how you guys have overcome similar struggles i think we all struggle a little bit with comparison and measuring self-worth through social media and while it is really unfortunate and just kind of really upsetting actually if you think about it how so many of us suffer from the same toxic thing for our mental health um it is comforting to know that we're not alone in it you know so thank you so so very much i love that i am the comfort youtuber for so many of you just like cheyenne is for me a bit of advice that really stuck out to me in last week's video that just like made so much sense. They told me that I need to act as if my inner child is still very much alive and someone that needs caring for. So I associate it with my mental health, so like caring for my mental health, my overall well-being as my inner child and you know with a child you would make sure that they got enough sleep you'd feed them nutritious meals you'd want to make sure that they had fun and got to exercise you would encourage their creativity and their experiments you'd also encourage them to learn and support their curiosity and wonder at the world you would do all of those things for a child and i always want my childhood magic to stay alive within me i'm terrified of growing up i have long considered myself one of peter pan's lost boys and got to take care of my inner child and so I've made an effort to get plenty of sleep I've cleaned up my environment I've been painting because it's so much fun for me and I've also been making sure that I get outside for 30 minutes to an hour every single day it's been really really wonderful and I hope that I can continue to take care of myself in this way and I hope that you guys all find time to take care of yourselves because that is the most important thing you can't function and show up for others until you function and show up for yourself and you are more than worthy of your own time so my friends I'm very serious when I say to grab a hot cup of tea or coffee and your favorite cozy blanket these are things that make you happy then try your best to make time for them maybe include a good book or a heartfelt movie maybe it's a walk outside maybe it's a puzzle maybe it's a solo dance party or a dinner party with friends i don't know but these are the simple things and i'm just immensely grateful that i have each and every single one of you out there there with me to appreciate these simple moments in my life and I want you to have as many of these kinds of moments as possible because this is life this is what it's all about these simple wonderful moments add up and are so so meaningful actually so here's to the simple childhood magical 
everyday moments of our not so mundane lives. Cheers, friends. Good night.